Hey there, in this particular video, I am going to boot Windows 10 on my MacBook Air from this SSD which has already pre-installed Windows 10. Rather, I can say that I took this SSD out directly from existing Windows PC. So now, for doing so, I need to connect this SSD in external hard drive enclosure for USB out. So let's get started. So now, we will boot up the MacBook by pressing the power key and then holding the option key until we have these options. And here this was internal SSD and the second option is for the external SSD that we have connected. So let me select it and see the magic. And here we go. We have Windows 10 logo and I can't believe that it worked. A SSD plugged out from a random AMD PC and then booting up the same copy without doing anything on the MacBook and it works. So it would be like doing a task on the PC and then I want to continue that on my MacBook and actually it's possible. So let it boot up and here is the infamous irritating update screen that won't leave me alone even here. So finally I logged into my account and here are my apps and folders that were already on my SSD. And for now the trackpad is not working for two finger scroll and for the right click that I need to figure it out. And yes, don't forget to watch the post credit scenes and with that said, thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Now for drivers, go to bootcamp and then select action from menu and download the windows support file. There you will have this folder where you will find the setup.exe file that you need to run in windows on your SSD. And there is one more fun surprise ahead, so just let the video play further. And here is the PUBG PC on MacBook Air.